Hi guys, do you know that having a period does not necessarily mean that you are ovulating? Yeah, if you are the type that you are wondering if you are ovulating or you are not ovulating like you don't know how your body will tell you if you are ovulating or not, please I would like you to stay tuned till the end. You might not be ovulating properly or even not ovulating at all, meaning that there is no release of egg from the ovaries into the fallopian tube ready for fertilization. And this can be as a result of hormonal imbalance, okay? As most of us know, ovulation is the release of egg from the ovaries into the fallopian tube ready for fertilization, okay? When these eggs are in the womb of fallopian tube, if there is no sperm to fertilize this egg, then these eggs will now shade and cause what you call the period so after ovulation you get your period so sometimes if you get period and you notice that you're not ovulating it means that that period is not actually a period it might be abnormal uterine bleeding okay because every person that gets a normal period ought to ovulate okay and the process where you are not ovulating is what we call anovulation right on this video i want to tell you the signs and symptoms that your body will respond or would show to tell you that your ovaries are not actually releasing eggs into the fallopian tubes meaning you are not ovulating so if you are the type that you're wondering if you're ovulating or you're not ovulating like you don't know how your body will tell you if you're ovulating or not please i would like you to stay tuned till the end because the number fifth and number six points are are going to be very interesting that you need to check out you need to wash your body and check out for okay if this is the first time you are coming across my channel you are highly welcome thank you for stopping by i am pharmacist god's gift and on this my channel i talk on health matters and also i give information on drugs that you can use for most ailments okay so and if you're a returning viewer thank you for always coming back for more i love you all please keep coming back for more as more good information on your health and how to take care of your health are going to be dropping every time okay now let's look at the signs and symptoms that your body will show or exhibit that will make you know by yourself before going to carry out any other test to show that you are not ovulating properly or you are not ovulating at all let's slide on process of one not ovulating is called anovulation okay and anovulation can occur as a result of hormonal imbalance example is polycystic ovarian syndrome okay that is the one of the major cause of anovulation the number one sign that your body exhibits to tell you it has to do with your period okay irregular periods when you know that your period are not normal like this month you will see your period four days the next month you will see your period one day the other month you will see your period two days that is to show that you are not ovulating properly or even not ovulating at all okay Okay. It might be that it's just uh, abnormal uterine bleeding, not actually your period. Okay. Then secondly, is irregular menstrual cycle length. The normal average one is 28 days for menstrual cycle length. Some persons have it shorter or some persons have it longer, meaning that some persons can have it like 26, 27 20, uh, 28 okay that can be any day can be their period length and some persons can even have it at 31 32 33 yeah that can be their menstrual cycle length okay but if you notice that this month your own is 28 the next month is 31 the other month is 26 it means that you are having irregular menstrual cycle length and this can lead to one not ovulating properly or even not ovulating at all then the third sign to show that you are not ovulating properly or you're not ovulating well is light or heavier period okay some persons you will see that this month the period is just like staining you just staining their sanitary towel the next month you will see that it will be so heavy as if it's if something else is happening and sometimes they will not even see at all it have high chances of making one not so ovulate okay when it's time for ovulation okay then fourthly is amenorrhea that means you are not even having the period at all the period is not coming forth okay that is the worst it means that you are not ovulating okay because as i told you ovulation comes before period okay there has to be release of air from 
from the ovaries into that fallopian tube first. So if there is no sperm to fertilize that egg, before that egg will now shade off and lead to period, okay? So if you are not having your period at all, it means that you are not ovulating at all. All. This one is not to say you might not be ovulating, but this one it means that you are not ovulating at all. Okay, so you need to carry out tests, you need to go check yourself medically immediately. Now that you have been following me till this point, please I would like you to like this video. Give this video a thumbs up, yeah. Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to put on the notification bell. If you have any question, put it down in the comment section, and finally. Please share this video to everyone out there so that they can get this information that you have gotten right on this video. Now let's continue and check out the fifth and the sixth symptom to show that you are not ovulating properly or even you are not ovulating at all. Let's check it out. Then fifthly is having no cervical mucus, okay, that discharge, that ovulation discharge that occurs, okay. If you know that since you notice yourself, you have not seen that mucus, it's like this uh, egg white, okay. You know when you remove the yolk, the white, that's clear, slippery and stretchy liquid, okay, that you see. Like if you are in Nigeria, we say that watery cation, that is how the discharge is when one is ovulating. Okay, the ovulation discharge is not the same as that of your normal everyday discharge that is kind of like whitish and like that. No, it's not like that. So if you are not having this ovulation discharge, it means you are not ovulating, then you need to go check out yourself. Then finally is infertility. Okay, I dropped this point till the last because I want you to know the other ones first. Okay, finally is infertility when you are not able to get pregnant because if you are not ovulating how can you get pregnant it's not working so if you know that you have tried you've tried and you know that your your husband or your partner is okay medically fit and is okay but you on your side you are not getting pregnant you've tried and tried unprotected sex a lot of time it means that you are not ovulating okay it means that you are having hormonal imbalance maybe you're having polycystic ovarian syndrome or you're having one or two things your hormones are not balanced that is why you can't to get pregnant because if you're ovulating and you're ovulating properly yeah you are expected to get pregnant if you're having unprotected sexual intercourse with a male that has been deemed medically fit to impregnate a lady okay so therefore these and many more are the signs to show that you are not ovulating properly okay so if you know you have issues with your period you need to go carry out medical laboratory investigations immediately okay you need to go and carry out tests there are also ovulation test kits that are very affordable they are out there you can buy them if you've seen finished seeing your period and you know your circle length and you've calculated when you're supposed to ovulate you use the test kit to check if you are truly ovulating or not okay so thank you for staying tuned till the end please as i say don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and keep coming back for more see you next time in my next video bye